Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Minister, Deputy Chair of the Board of Governors, CEO, colleagues, distinguished guests, and most of all, you students, and of course, your respective guests. This is a ceremony where we celebrate your completion of a whole qualification. We celebrate here your success. May this be a key for all of you to continue your journey, whether this journey is academic and you further on your studies, or whether it is in your careers and your respective careers, which most of you might already have started. In any case, for all of you, this should be a key for your future. So, without further ado, I would like to congratulate you all and may you prosper and grow with your qualifications and your further future. I would like now to invite the Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Pierre Fenech, to address his, his welcome address. Honorable Minister Clayton Bartolo, Deputy Chairperson, Professor Maroni, dedicated CEOs, ITS staff, students, and esteemed guests. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each of you for gracing this remarkable occasion, the momentous celebration of ITS graduation 2023. For me, it is always an honor to address as a gathering as inspiring as this, one filled with individuals who have worked relentlessly to carve a path towards their dreams. Today we stand at the intersection of hard work and achievement, and it is a privilege to share in this joyous moment with each and every one of you. In this era where Malta's tourism industry is expanding at an unprecedented pace, the Institute of Tourism Studies finds itself at the epicenter of a dynamic shift. The industry's growth has outpaced our projections, leading to a demand for skilled professionals that has at times required us to look beyond our shores for talent. The result, a surge in opportunities for our graduates. Each one of you driven by your hard work and dedication. I want you to grasp the magnitude of your accomplishments. The demand for your skills has surged. On an average, each one of you has around eight opportunities waiting to be explored. This is not just a testament of, to the education you've received, but a nod to your resilience and commitment to excellence. The, to the graduates embarking on the next phase of this journey, I share a piece of advice. Look beyond the paycheck, especially at this juncture in your lives. Consider your career as a path, a journey, where every step contributes to your growth and fulfillment. The choices you make now will sculpt your future. So let passion, purpose, and impact be your guiding lights. Back in 2019, we anticipated this surge in demand, prompting us to draft a strategic plan covering the years 2021 to 2025. This plan is not just a document, it's a commitment to internationalize our institution. Today, as we stand here, we're witnessing the fruition of that vision with agreement signed and the establishment of our first satellite campuses abroad. This year marks a historic moment as we welcome our first registered students in Switzerland. And in the coming year, we will witness similar milestones in Jordan and in the Republic of China. These international campuses are not just extensions, they are the threads connecting diverse cultures to the heart of Malta's tourism education. 
The government's investment in a state-of-the-art campus is a clear indication of the belief in our potential to meet global demands. The construction of this campus is a testament to progress, and we are ensuring it aligns with our commitment to sustainability. We're not just building structures, we're crafting an environment that champions energy efficiency and environmental responsibility. We want this campus to be a beacon of eco-friendliness, in line with our dedication to impact climate-friendly practices. Today, we mark another extraordinary achievement. The graduation of our inaugural batch in the Bachelor of Science in Diving Safety Management. A groundbreaking collaboration with Dan Europe, these graduates aren't just recipients of degrees, they are pioneers. The first globally to attain a bachelor's degree in the specialized field of diving safety management. This is a collective triumph, and I extend my heartfelt thanks to Professor Alessandro Maroni. Thanks, Profs. Present with us today, for being an integral part of this significant journey and for believing in us at ITS since day one. Dear graduates, this moment is not just a culmination, it's a commencement, a commencement into a world of possibilities, growth and impact. For some of you, this is the first step towards higher academic pursuits. For others, a step closer to your ultimate aspirations and for many, the beginning of a vibrant career in tourism and hospitality. Embrace these opportunities with open hearts and open minds. As you move forward, remember the power of humility. Your education has equipped you with tools, and now the canvas is yours to paint. When and how you use these tools will shape your individual narratives in our dynamic industry. To our degree graduates, your reputation precedes you. Studying abroad as part of the degree programs, you have garnered praise from collaborating institutions with accolades such as being amongst the top performing international students. You've not just represented yourselves, but you have become ambassadors of excellence for our institution. And thank you for that. To the master's degree graduates, you embody the zenith of our collective efforts. The skills you've acquired are not just for personal growth, but they are the seeds that will sprout into progress for the industry and comp contribute to Malta's pursuit of excellence in tourism, as outlined in the tourism strategy by the Malta Tourism Authority. A special note of gratitude goes to the partners, parents, and guardians of our graduates. Your unwavering support and sacrifices have been say, silent strength behind their journeys. As we congratulate these graduates on their achievements, let's continue to encourage them to aim high, study further, or excel in their chosen careers. In closing, I congratulate each one of you on this remarkable achievement. And as you take flight into the next chapter, may you spread your wings wide. You are not just graduates, you are beacons of inspiration and catalysts for change. Thank you, and may success accompany you on every step of your journey. Thank you, Mr. Fenech. Of course, no graduation ceremony will be complete without hearing the voice of a student. And I welcome here Mr. Paul Tickill to give us his address on behalf of all of you. Good evening. Minister for Tourism, Deputy Chairperson, Board of Governors, CEO, COOs, academics, 
graduates and guests. It is a privilege to be here today to speak about my experience with ITS and being one of the first graduates of the Bachelor of Science in Diving Safety Management. My journey to this point started more than three years ago, nearly 30 years ago. After not completing my first degree, I decided to travel and discover the world. For a while, supposedly, using my scuba instructor qualification to fund my traveling until I decided what I wanted to do as a proper job. The traveling aspect didn't last long. <clears throat> as soon as I arrived in Malta, well, soon after arriving in Malta, I met my wife and decided that teaching scuba diving was actually the proper job that I could do and enjoy. Over the coming years, my position changed from diving instructor to dive center manager to finally owning my own dive center. However, the economics of owning a dive center were not in my favor. So just prior to 2020, I found myself looking for a new path. Obviously, looking back now, 2020 presented challenges to every person on the planet. As such, the imposed restrictions that were necessary at this time led to an increase in digital socializing. It was during this period that Facebook told me about a new proposed degree being offered by ITS. After an initial look through the modules, it showed that whilst there were areas my past experience would cover, there were new areas that I had a passing understanding of, such as the diving medicine, scientific diving, and others such as technical diving that I had always avoided, as why would I want to carry more than one cylinder? My first impressions on starting the program were not great. Due to the constant changes forced upon us as a result of the COVID-19 situation, we obviously had some reshuffling of modules to try and keep physical contact requirements postponed until the last moments possible. However, as time passed, restrictions were lifted and replaced, and we did finally manage to squeeze in our first face-to-face -face practicals with ITS at the ISDSM in Gozo. Admittedly, this was at the start of our second year, but it was a first time meeting and allowed us to learn the character and personality behind the voices and faces previously only seen on the computer monitor. The second year brought new challenges. Time management became an issue. My wife, who is also here tonight, was studying her master's degree with ITS, had work commitments starting once again, meaning our household ended up with shift work, divided between study times, work commitments, and our children's needs. Studying, though, did continue, with practicals being held when allowed or when time could be found. In the second year, this was combined with the DAN internship program in July. Here we looked at scientific diving, such as taking underwater Doppler readings to gauge bubble levels in divers during a dive, and how to collect data on fish populations within a defined area. The third year seemed to pass in a blur. Theses had to be drafted and presented, and finally the tech diving practicals started. The tech diving area was an area I actually had started to look forward to as although I had spent my working life adamantly carrying the minimal amount of equipment, this was still diving, and as such should be fun, and after 30 years, should be easy. So you can imagine my shock when after my first skill dive, my instructor took me to one side and gave me a list of things that I needed to work on for my second dive. There's always something new to learn. Finishing the Tech 45, Tech 50, and the Trimix 65 portions of the degree were perhaps the most challenging part, as not only did I have new tasks to learn, multiple cylinders to carry, but I also had to change behavioral patterns that had been ingrained for over 30 years. Where does my path lead now? Some of you, like me, may not be sure of this answer. The most important thing isn't knowing where you wish to go, but discovering it as you follow your path. Live your life. Meet your challenges, but don't be afraid to change direction along the way. I finished with some words from a great diving pioneer, Jacques Cousteau, but they are applicable to us all. Sometime we are lucky enough to know that our lives have been changed, to discard the old, embrace the new, and run headlong down an immutable course. I wish all of you the best of luck in your careers. Congratulations on this achievement. And thank you.
Thank you, Paul. Now, uh, I would like to invite here the Deputy Chair to the Board of Governors, Ms. Michelle Muscat, who is very supportive of our work and she is always present, let's say. Ms. Muscat. Honorable Minister, Clayton Lartolo, esteemed CEO, Professor Maroni, COOs, ITS staff, students, and distinguished guests. In our capacity as the Board of Governors of the Institute of Tourism Studies, our unwavering commitment to achieving our set goals remains at the forefront of our endeavors. These objectives, outlined in the Institute of Tourism Studies Strategic Plan, have encountered challenges, particularly during the inaugural year, marred by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, as we find ourselves midway through the plan's implementation, we take pride in the substantial progress achieved despite the initial setbacks. Addressing the crucial aspect of governance, it brings us immense satisfaction to share that the Malta Further and Higher Education Authority has conducted two separate audits over the past two years. These audits, executed by international auditors, meticulously scrutinized all facets of governance, one focusing on institutional aspects and the other on the ed educational programs. The outstanding results attained in these audits a testament to the collective efforts of our dedicated team under the leadership of our CEO, have positioned the Institute at such an exemplary level that we are on the verge of obtaining an extension of scope. This extension will elevate the Institute to a self-accrediting institution up to level seven in the coming weeks, a significant milestone in our journey. The achievement of this status marks a remarkable accomplishment for ITS, and we express our pride in the tremendous work carried out to enhance the Institute's standing. Turning our attention to internationalization, we are continually being approached by foreign institutions seeking collaboration, recognizing the potential and seriousness of our initiatives. In the last two years, this interest has materialized into the signing of our first international agreements, leading to the establishment of satellite campuses abroad, notably in Switzerland, Jordan, and China. The inauguration of the China campus in Shanghai, attended by our COO, Ms. Claire Briffa, is a recent testament to the global recognition and expansion of our institute. Today, we gather to witness another holistic milestone in our journey. The fruition of our collaboration with Dan Europe has resulted in the first graduates of our Bachelor of Science in Diving Safety Management. These individuals not only mark the initial cohort of graduates from this program, but also hold the distinction of being the first globally to attain a bachelor's degree in the field of diving. This accomplishment brings immense satisfaction to the entire board and we extend our heartfelt congratulations to these pioneering students. We also express gratitude to, Mr. to Professor Maroni and our CEO for their visionary leadership in charting this extraordinary course that we celebrate today. Looking ahead, the forthcoming years promise to be dynamic and transformative for all of us. As a board, we are committed to effecting the necessary changes to the legal framework governing ITS ensuring its alignment with the evolving landscape. Simultaneously, we embark on the process of updating and formulating the next strategic plan, building on the foundations laid by the current one. This strategic roadmap will guide our future initiatives, ensuring that ITS continues to be a beacon of excellence and innovation in the realm of tourism studies. In conclusion, let us collectively embrace the achievements of the past celebrate the successes of today, and, to, and enthusiastically anticipate the opportunities that the future holds for the Institute of Tourism Studies. Together, as a cohesive community of learners, educators, and stakeholders, we shall navigate the evolving landscape of education and tourism, steadfast in our commitment to excellence. Thank you.
Okay, last, uh, but definitely not least, and I believe this is not the first speech that he's been doing this evening, I would like to welcome the Honorable Minister for Tourism, the Honorable Clayton Bartolo. CEO, Pierre Fennec, Deputy Chairperson, Ms. Michelle Muscat, COOs, Professor Maroni, it's a pleasure to have you with us once again. Graduates, lecturers, distinguished guests and colleagues. We must never underestimate the significance of this ceremony. I think such events, I honestly say this, this evening is definitely one of the proudest moments of every year. I believe this is my fourth, my fourth graduation as a minister. And most probably every year I say this, and I will keep saying it for as long as I am minister of tourism. But it really is one of my proudest moments seeing you graduates here this evening. And obviously, seeing the lecturers and the guardians, parents, partners. So yes, let us not underestimate the significance and importance of such an evening. It is a given that the ceremony is a culmination of months, in some cases years, of hard work to achieve such prestigious recognition. I am convinced that all of you here have heard or even read of the government's intent, together with the ITS, to do the necessary changes when it comes to service within the hospitality industry. The debate on quality within the industry has been going on for a long number of years. Everyone, rightly so, I say, from various fields outlining the importance of frontliners who can offer a capable and distinguished service to Maltese, Gazetans, and tourists. We were accustomed to a lot of sweet talk, from politicians to opinionated people within the media, from players within the industry to the social partners. The quality debate became a rhetoric that, when fully understood, never translated itself into the bold and necessary actions that were needed. Up until now, during this year, we worked hard together with the ITS and other stakeholders to ensure that we take the necessary actions and start seeing the much needed change when it comes to service. And why are we doing this now? Some of you may ask, why is this the opportune moment for us to take these decisions? Presently, the tourism results in Malta are at their best ever. Notwithstanding the price wars which are on our doorstep, from the war in Ukraine, the conflicts in the Middle East, and global inflation, tourists are still choosing to come visit and enjoy the splendor which our country has to offer. As we speak, we are registering an increase in visitors, guest nights, and significantly, their spend. And this year's expenditure, ironically today, we just had the uh, results for the past 10 months, where in the first 10 months of this year, we have had nothing less than 2.4 billion spent in our economy by visiting tours. And the first 10 months of this year have surpassed the whole year of 2019. So this goes to show that we are managing to attract a higher quality tourist to Malta. And with these results, looking to continue well into next year, our outlook is now focused on how we can improve the tourist experience when he comes to visit Malta and Gozo. While marketing is important, Yes, the MTA does a fabulous job in marketing our country. Our biggest marketeers remain those who visit us and share their stories when returning back home. 
And this is why from next year we are introducing a mandatory skills pass in the tourism industry. And you might ask, what does this have anything to do with this evening's graduation ceremony? You hold the ultimate skills pass. I say this because apart from your talents, stretching from the culinary arts to the managerial administration, you have the power to set the example, the opportunity to provide the necessary impetus and the courage to all those who will need to undertake the necessary upskilling or reskilling within our industry. Here in front of me today, I do not see simply graduates, but present and future ambassadors of the hospitality industry. You are our best asset. And you proudly express Malta's heritage in various fields of our industry. You are part of our present, our future. You are part of our identity and part of our hospitality characteristic, which we are so much well known for throughout the world. Let us keep this alive, not just here in Malta, but also abroad. Yes, why not? Pierre had the opportunity to explain that there are eight opportunities for every graduate. Yes, make the most of that. I agree with him. Don't simply look at the paycheck. But keep your future in mind. See where these opportunities will take you. And I honestly tell you that over the past years, being tourism minister, visiting other countries, a number of times heading a number of international delegations, whether I was in London, whether I was in Budapest, whether I was in Warsaw or Prague, you can always find a Maltese ITS alumni in a top managerial position, leading a top international brand in that country. And they always fly the Maltese flag high. And that is exactly what we want to see. All of which, yes, they have been through the educational system of ITS. And our intention is for this to continue. Because the ITS will continue to flourish and venture into new horizons for the months and years to come. The ITS is dedicated to continue offering more educational opportunities. The ITS is dedicated to internationalization. And it is also dedicated to future-proofing our tourism industry through the construction of the new campus at Smart City. In concluding, allow me to thank the ITS leadership, piloted by the CEO, Mr. Pierre Fennec. I hereby thank you, Pierre, for all your hard work over the year and your good pieces of advice when it comes to the ITS. So, yes, thank you. The chairman, Mr. Edward Zammit, Deputy Chairperson, Michelle Muscat, and the whole Board of Governors for their sterling work and their guidance of this institution. Rest assured that you will always find my support and the government's support to ensure that the ITS remains the country's main tourism educational institution. A big thank you goes as well to all the lecturers and the administrative staff for their endless dedication in preparing the industry of today, but more importantly, that of tomorrow. We must also share our gratitude to the parents, relatives, guardians, and friends of these graduates that we have with us today. Yes, today is your day as well. Finally, I am pretty sure that everyone here will join me in saying a big well done to all those who today summoned another feather in their cap after months and years of study. Whether this is your first step in the tourism education or whether it is your last step prior to joining the tourism industry and the tourism workforce, now is your time to spread your wings. Once again, congratulations to all of you and thank you.
Thank you, Honorable Minister. Now it's time to start awarding you for your success, and I would like to invite my deputies and my coordinator of graduation so that we can start. Thank you very much. Presentation of Certificates. Foundation in Hospitality and Tourism, Samuel Ajus. <laughs> Alexia Azzopardi. Eliseo Azzofaidi. Daniel Neil Balzan. Eric Borch. Miguel Camilleri. Julia Cassano. Kailien Apap. Ilenia Atsopaidi. Micaela Farruja. Mikhail Galia. Stanley Gotsen. Mariah Gregg. Mm -hmm. 
Jean-Claude Haber. Dylan Hagi. Winter Sonata Marelit. Maria Assunta Mikallev. Francesca Muscat. Jun Liang Pen. Thea Paris. Jean Sant. Petar Stojanovic. Gabriel Taylor. Graduating in absentia, Enrique Borch, Matea Camilleri, Liam Fabri, Thomas Farugia Garcia, Jake Joseph Gatt, Julia Koval, Fabio Luzzi, Brendan Lee Sant, Bjorn Shikluna, Kalista, Soylent Mills, um, Kirlo Tsachenko. Bjorn Shikluna. Alternative Learning Program, Alec Falzon. Ian Vella. Graduating in absentia, Christian Gallia, Caleb Gilson, Dylan Sherry, Jake Zarafa. Certificate in event. Nathan Bonello. Naomi Kalea. Abigail Magreen.
Abigail Magreen, Elisa Muscat, graduating in absentia Abigail Magreen, certificate in rooms division. Foundation in Hospitality and Tourism, Calista Soyland Mills. Certificate in Rooms Division, Katrina Briffa. Sabrina Gallia. Oscana Shkembri. Kaylee Sherry. Graduating in absentia, Ian Vladimir Baldacchino. Certificate in Travel and Tourism, Thea Kaleen Balayou. Karl Kassar. Isaac Chini Jake El Nahal Mariah Mifsud Matthias Mifsu Courtney Zamit Graduating in Absentia Maria Far. Certificate in Food Preparation and Service, Jayka Juice. David Ambrogio. Kirsty Barbara Maya Bong Krista Bonici
my uh, board. Sven Borg. Luke Brincat Stellini. Matteo Bugelli. Carl George Buzutin. Zek Kamenzuli. Denzil Catania Gabriella Curmi Kaden Falzon Denzil Faruja Thomas Faruja Elenia Faruja Clayton Gallia Ryan Stephen Gershi Jamie Gregg Sevion Gregg Excel Preston Hartley Justin Kenna Martina Mercia Luke Mikalev Kate Muscat
Duen Tu Pham. Gift Richards. Jaden Samut. Elena Spiteri. Osea Tabone. Nigel Frank Tabone. Nathan Vassallo Teuma. Nathan Vella. Zach Sherry. Yasmin Zara. Clyde Zamit. Graduating in absentia, Yanni Cabela, Amy Caruana, Nadesh Kassar, Ertin Chantar, Patricia Lee De Vries, Erika Fabri, Andrea Fenech, Andrega Farena, Brooklyn Gauchi, Temzin Gauchi, Sky Eluma, Isaac Mikalev, Daniela Pisani, Philip Parizzo, Leiden Samut, Ivan Zamid. Preparatory course for the bachelors in culinary arts. Sean Buttigieg. Jake Kutayar. Manueline Vella. Graduating in absentia, Jordan Ajus, Gabriel Falzon, Maria Saliba, Nito Yamada. Diploma in food preparation and production operations, Matthew Abela. Alan Ajus. Dailien Atard. Aiden Abdillah
Luke Cacciattolo. Natalie Camilleri. Keith Asa. Nigel Demek Nirvana Falzon Shanaya Faruja Chantel Gat Jordan Magro Kylie Patch Neil Peresso Nicole Side Islam Nassim David Sherry Nicole Shiberas Isaac Psyla Graduating in absentia Shailena Jules, Owen Bray, Mariah Brooks Andrea Cremona, Giorgi Drotianco, Yesmen Farrugia, Gary Fenech, Erika Gauci, Francesca Montalto, Samuel George Oxford, Jordan Job Saila, Pasquale Sammut, Ivan Tabone, Janine Vella. Diploma in Rooms Division Operations. Matthias Cremona.
Martina Fenek Faruja. Laura Spiteri. Diploma in Travel and Tourism Operations. Miguel Bujeya. Georgie Marie de Gabriele. Gail Faruja. Maria Ibrahim. Graduating in absentia, Ilaria Ben Hassin. Wen King Juan. Diploma in Food and Beverage Service Operations. Graduating in absentia, Darina Dabjak. Diploma in Events Operations, Leon Aquilina. Jana Conti. Sophie Diacono. Higher National Diploma in Tourist Guiding. Ian Joseph Abdullah. Matthew Balzan. Vincent Borch. Mario Cacciatolo. King He Bell Kakia. Maria Elena Changura. Sandra Frigiri. Joanne Gatt.
Arthur Lengel. Tommy McCarthy. Christian Pache. Donald John Patch Arthur Pawney Rayfield Psyla Alana Sacco Martina Samud Tony Samud Mariella Schembri Mai Sigematsu Marina Stefanovic Francesca Vincenti Moika Zamid Briffa Graduating in Absentia, Hugh Wan Lu, Leonid Segal Higher National Diploma in Food Preparation and Production Management Zek Bujeya Nicole Camilleri Craig Demek Greg Gauci
Abigail Mikalnev. Martina Podge. Maria Kelly Parnis. Kate Shikluna. Natalie Rebecca Vincenti Graduating in absentia Julia Barbara Lancelot Farruja Higher National Diploma in Travel and Tourism Management Rachel Attard Chasney Fennec Martina Gallia Julien Mikalev Graduating in absentia, Janice Seikil Higher National Diploma in Rooms Division Management, Isaac Abela Higher National Diploma in Events Management, Kaylee Gallia. Maya Gallia. Mariela Gerova Gabriella Spiteri Higher National Diploma in Food and Beverage Management, Andy Jerji. Andela Markovic. Andre Shikluna Graduating in absentia, Jenny Jerji 
undergraduate diploma in culinary arts, graduating in absentia, Alexander James Atzopardi, Nicole Camilleri, Owen Demek, Stefane Beyer, Henrika Gallia, Luke Likari, Vignesh Narendra, Laura Saliba, Liliana Zamit. Undergraduate Diploma in Gastronomy, graduating in absentia, Andrew Spiteri. Undergraduate Diploma in International Hospitality Management, graduating in absentia, Luana Caruana de Bono, Marie Angie Castillo Carbajal, Keith Duca Jerome Farruja, Jemima Mah Olimuk Iltiemi Jetsin, Tiani Lee. Bachelor in Culinary Arts, Myra Bartolo. Gabriel Bezina. Richard Formosa. Silvia Gallia. Ruben Grishti Jordan Muscat Mark Tabone Dolores Zamit Graduating in absentia, Anton Kurmi. <laughs> Bachelor in International Hospitality Management, Valentina Abela. <laughs> Donavin Borch. Brittany Bujeya Chantel Bujeya Kylie Kauki Luke Kauki Claire Kirkop (laughs) 
Say for at the Shako. Andela Dinich. Ember Elisa Galia. Olivia Galia Bugea. Ardit Gicopoli. Florid Haskai. Jake Mifsud. Stevie Samut. Emily Shiberas. Nolene Vassallo. Graduating in absentia, Yushan Feng, Arkady Rayton, Alexander Stolkovich, Shengwan Weng. Okay, just a little pause. I would like to invite here with us Professor Alessandro Maroni, who was the brain behind the Bachelor's in Diving Safety Management. As you have heard in the beginning, this is the first in the world that the, and the people that you are, com that are coming up will be the first graduates ever in history. So this is a historical moment and thanks to all the people who are involved. Professor Maroni, I would like you to invite to uh, say a short. <laughs> Honorable Minister, Board of Directors, ladies, gentlemen, friends and divers. There are few things in life as rewarding as seeing a dream come true. And I must thank Malta, the Ministry of Tourism, the Board of ITS, and my friend Pierre for providing me this privilege. It was six years ago, more or less, when I asked a meeting to Pierre, and I shared with him my vision and dream and that was to give academic dignity to the science of diving safety. And here today, I'm so proud and moved to see the first graduates in this first in the world diploma and degree. Thank you.
Bachelor of Science in Diving Safety Management, um, Paul Tickel. Okay, Paul Tickel um, um, is graduating as uh, the first, uh, first student from this group. So, uh, this little ceremony that you're seeing here is reserved for the best result overall in all degrees. And this year it is Mr. Tickel. Raymond Andrew Arch. Audrey Faruja. Tietz Krutov. Master in Business Administration in International Hospitality Management, Roderick Attard Giller. <laughs> Emmy Briffa. Matthias Kassar.
Luisa Dalli. Mahmoud El Sherkawi. Sarah Greg McCormick. Graduating in absentia, Tamara Nesik. Master of Arts in Heritage Interpretation. The best result overall in Masters. Kevin Kassar. Stefania Abela Tikil. Melvin Bujeya. Ivan Cocker. Vanessa Delia Naudi. Georgette Faruja Paul Spiteri
Joanne Vella. Presentation of awards. Award for the best performance at foundation level. Award sponsored by the Malta Union of Tourist Guides and presented by Mr. Franz van Avendong. The award goes to Giulia Cassano. Award for the best performance at certificate level. Award sponsored by Farsens Group and presented by Mr. Joseph Camilleri. The award goes to Nathan Vella. Award for the best performance at diploma level. Award sponsored by the Federated Association of Travel and Tourism Agents. The award goes to Erika Gauci. Graduating in absentia. Okay, we've just been informed that Mr. Marvik uh, can come on stage and represent FATA. May we kindly call Mr. Joe Kassingena as the coordinator for food preparation and production.
Award for the best performance at higher national diploma level. Award sponsored by the Federation of English Language Teaching Organizations Malta and presented by Miss Caroline Tissot. The award goes to Rayfil Psyla. Award for the best performance at bachelor's degree level. Award sponsored by the Association of Catering Establishment and presented by Miss Michelle Muscat. The award goes to Paul Tikil. Award for the best performance at master's degree level. Award sponsored by the Malta Tourism Authority and presented by Miss Mary Rose Briffa. The award goes to Kevin Kassar. Award um, for the best Gossetin performance. Award sponsored by the Gozo Tourism Association and presented by Mr. Marvig Borch. The award goes to Nigel Frank Tabone. Award um, for the most outstanding effort. 
award sponsored by the Malta Hotels and Restaurants Association and presented by Mr. Tonio Cini. The award goes to Sefara Deshako. Award for the best overall performance. Award sponsored by the Ministry for Tourism and Air Malta and presented by the Honorable Minister for Tourism Clayton Bartolo and Miss Nadia Giordemaina. The award goes to Rafael Psyla. Okay, now we are about to finish. Just three little things. Um, first of all, I would like to thank all my colleagues that have helped here tonight and have been preparing for months to get to this event. Thank you. I think also a round of applause should go to yourselves for doing this great job. Now, please, I'd like you to take the booklet, and we're going to read the out together, which is one of the last pages, on one of the last pages. And I invite everybody to stand up for this out and the national anthem. So you can read with me. I recognize my privilege in having received hospitality and tourism education with the Institute of Tourism Studies and understood the responsibilities that come with it. I solemnly pledge to always respect and uphold best practices within the hospitality and tourism industry. I will be guided by what is ethical, not just by what is permissible. I will respect and uphold the integrity of the hospitality and tourism profession without compromise. I will give to my colleagues, both senior and junior, due respect and gratitude. I will maintain the reputation and integrity of the Institute of Tourism Studies throughout my career. 
I will value health and well-being, appreciating their importance for high-quality work. I will not permit considerations of age, disease, disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any factor to impact upon my keeping of these promises. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Well done. Now we finish off with the national anthem and then I invite all students to come over here, of course with the direction of the photographers for a group photo. First the national anthem. Thank you. Good evening. <laughs>